I'm David Monk, after school STEAM educator with Children's Museum Houston. Today's story time is brought to you by the Hamill Foundation, Wells Fargo, and the Brown Foundation. Check it out. Today's book is Little Hoot by Amy Krauss Rosenthal with permissions from Chronicle Books. Once up on a branch, there was a fella named Little Hoot. Little Hoot was a happy little owl. He liked going to school. He liked playing hide and seek with his forest friends. He even liked what Mama Owl said it was practice time. Time to practice pondering, sweetie. Okay, now practice your staring. Staring right, staring left, staring right. But there was one thing Little Hoot did not like. Bedtime. Because when you're an owl, you have to stay up late, late, late. That's just the way it is. All my other friends get to go to bed so much earlier than me. Why do I always have to stay up and play? It's not fair. If you want to grow up to be a wise owl, you must stay up late, said Papa Owl. And besides, I don't give a hoot what time your friends go to bed. In this family, we go to bed late. Rules of the roost. Stay up and play for one more hour and then you get to go to sleep. Mama Owl compromised. One whole hour, he boo-hooed. One whole hour, she cooed. So off he went. When I grow up, I'm gonna let my kids go to bed as early as they want. He played swords. He played on the jungle gym. He built a fort. He jumped in the leaves. He jumped on the bed. Can I stop playing now? Pleaded Little Hoot. Ten more minutes of playing, mister, and please don't ask me again. All right, the young owl scowled. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes. There, I played for one whole hour. Now can I go to bed? Yes, now you can go to bed, but woohoo, woohoo, bedtime and Little Hoot flew right into bed. But wait, stalled Mama Owl. What about a bedtime story? And don't forget a glass of water, added Papa Owl. But it was too late. Little Hoot was already fast asleep. Snooze, snore, drool. So they tucked in his feathers, gave him a peck on the cheek, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you so much for joining me for this story time. Don't forget to follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.